What's going on everyone? Zach here with Rigid Inspections um, and I'm going to talk about this water heater here. I know there's going to be a bunch of comments about all the defects you see in the video but what I'm going to focus on is specifically the water heater. So we're going to go around here and take a look at it. Uh, so you see it is leaking right there at the shutoff but what I was wanting to focus on were these two rubber boots to the left and right of the flue pipe that go over the hot water and cold water lines. Um, a telltale sign for us inspectors, really for anybody, plumbers alike, um, that there's backdrafting is when these are melted. And as you can see, they are melted. Now, what gave me the first clue that they'd probably be melted once I got down here before even seeing them was up on the roof, the flue pipe is not high enough. It doesn't terminate high enough above the roof line. So it's supposed to terminate at least one foot above anything within eight feet. So we'll take a look at that right now. So as you could see, it was not terminating at least one foot above anything within eight feet of it. The cause of the backdrafting is gonna be this flue pipe. Um, you can tell that this unit here has been replaced since the water heater. This unit is 2017, the water heater is 2003. What was probably the situation before was this was a 80% or like a mid-efficiency furnace using a metal flue pipe that tied in right there um, somewhere right below where the water heater flue pipe went in. So there's probably some kind of T or Y right there where both flue pipe pipes went into one and then it went up through the roof. Well, I see this all the time. What happens is the HVAC guy comes in, puts a new high efficiency unit in that requires a PVC exhaust that goes out the side of the house um, and they don't do anything to fix the old flue. These water heaters require a small pipe. So you eliminate the furnace exhaust and now you've got this three inch going into this flue pipe. It's not gonna draft properly. It's too big of a pipe for this water heater um, so the, the gases aren't going to make it out and then you're going to get a backdrafting situation. Another thing I noticed that could be causing it is they've got the intake right here indoors. Um, I know some manufacturers, they don't really specify whether you can or can't. Um, some manufacturers require it go outside, but, um, I see this a lot too. You get an intake for these high efficiency furnaces and you place it right next to, a natural draft gas appliance, such as a water heater, when this furnace kicks on, it's gonna suck that exhaust right back down, um, assuming the water heater's running at the time. Um, once this kicks on, that intake is gonna be sucking air and it's gonna suck it back down from that flue pipe and that's gonna cause a back draft situation or you know a drafting issue. Another thing that we got down here that could be causing it is you got a return vent in the basement here. Um, which you don't need. I would definitely get that closed off, but that also can be sucking air once the system comes on. And uh, that's going to be, you know, whether it's summer or winter, um, you know, whereas the furnace, your that intake's only going to be running during the winter time. You got this return that's going to be running all the time, whether the AC's on or the furnace is on. So that's another thing that could be causing this drafting issue. So there's a couple different things here that could be causing this, but they're definitely going to need somebody out here to take a look at it. So hopefully you learned something today. I know there's probably going to be comments of I said something wrong or don't know what I'm talking about, but um, you kind of get that once you start getting a few followers. So um, hopefully this kind of helps you guys out, especially newer inspectors, things to look for that could be causing these drafting issues. I, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and we'll see you on the next one.